So pray now, pray now, right here in the storm, he's still the Good Wednesday morning to you. Today's five minute focus is on our community and nation. And we want to pray for God to have his way um, in our community, in this nation of the United States of America. Um, a nation that God has blessed historically because our greatest export has been the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we need to pray that God would bring reformation and revival uh, to our community, to our nation once again. I want us to look at Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. Daniel 2, verse 21, it says, And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them who know understanding. The expositor's notes say this, the phrase, he changes the times and the seasons, has reference to the successive empires as allowed by the Lord and seen by Daniel in the vision of the night. And so this verse is telling us that it's God who is sovereign. He is in control, even sovereign over the kings and the rulers of this world that we live in. It was true in Daniel's day, and it's true today in 2024. It is God alone, it is the Lord who changes empires, who changes those who are in positions of leadership in the world. He removes kings and he sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise, he gives knowledge to those who know understanding. God wants to help us as we pray for our community and nation, that he would uh, give us wisdom on uh, who we ought to be praying for um, as far as leadership. We need to pray that God would depose the leadership uh, that's currently in place, that is corrupt, that is wicked, that is self-indulgent, that is abusing their power for political gain, for personal purposes. And we need to pray that God would set up kings who are rulers who are principled, who will govern the people well, and who will um, follow the, the truths of the word of God. And uh, we need to pray for our community. We need to pray for our nation. We just came through primaries. We're coming up on a nationwide election in November for our president. We need to pray for the United States of America that God would help us, have mercy upon us, even though we have sinned, even though we have failed God as a nation in so many different ways, we need to say, God, would you have mercy and would you depose these who are abusing their power and give us um, rulers, give us kings who are going to do what's best for the greater good, what's principled according to scripture. And we need to pray that way today, that God would let righteousness rule one more time in our nation before he comes back that we could see a reformation, that we could see a revival, hearts turning back to the Lord. And so let's pray that way today and for our own lives, for our own families, and for our community and nation, that God would move in a powerful way. Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you for your word today. We thank you that your word teaches us, it instructs us, it guides us. Lord, help us to remember today that you are sovereign, even over the rulers and the kings and the people who govern in places of government. God, you are sovereign over all of them. You set up kings and you depose kings. And Lord, we pray that you would remove those from office, those from positions of power who are abusing their power, who are self-indulgent and wicked. God, not looking for the greater good, but just looking for political gain and selfish ambition. God, remove those people from office. God, give us principled leaders who will lead uh, for the greater good, for the whole country. And Lord, I pray that you would move in our community in Harper's Ferry and Jefferson County. Let there be uh, a reformation, a revival taking place. Let us be a part of the harvest of souls, Lord, that you're going to bring about in these last days. God, bring revival. Bring a move of your spirit. God, just give us a wonderful Wednesday today. Help us to be salt and light in our community. Help us to seize every opportunity you bring our way to sow a seed of the gospel in someone's life. And we'll just give you praise and glory for all that's accomplished. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you. So pray now, pray now, right here in the storm he's
still.